And welcome back. Final Who Would Win for the week of the week of Who Would Wins. Uh, this one comes to us from Nothing Nobody, who asked the question, who would win a fight? Bond from Seven Deadly Sins, I believe he's the sin of greed, versus Deadpool from, you know, Marvel. Uh, now, Bond, in terms of his abilities, is considered to be, he's extreme, but he's a very passionate man. He takes actions based on whatever catches his interest, such as escaping prison. Um, he has shown some aspects of greed as well as selfish desire, however he can will stay his hand if given a good reason to stop. Uh, despite his selfish and greedy personality, he's shown to be caring, uh, easily ex surprised and excited. In terms of his actual abilities, his ability... Uh, I know one of the... I don't actually watch this show. Mark uh, watches this show. Uh, he's very powerful. Speed and strength greatly surpassed that of an ordinary human, especially is using speed in conjunction with his ability. Snatch, in order to rip out an opponent's organs, preferably their hearts. His most amazing ability, however, is his immortality. Thanks to drinking from the fountain of youth, all of Bond's wounds heal almost instantaneously, no matter how severe. He does not age, he does not need to eat or drink, and is immune to all poisons. His immortality allows him to fight with a much more reckless style than most are willing. Bond's blood has healing qualities because it is fused with the fountain of youth, being able to heal other wounds and regenerate, for the, fairy, regenerate the fairy king's forest completely. However, Bond's lost this ability after using the power of the fountain of youth to revive Elaine. However, his time suggested to harsh conditions of purgatory has dramatically increased his endurance um, and durability so much that even having lost his immortality, Bond could still stand the same conditions. This is shown by how he suffers no injury from the Demon King's energy storm, which could wipe out any living thing, according to Gauther, and was able to stand several blows from him with only minor injuries. Physical strength and speed also increased dramatically. He was able to complete... Compete with a physical combat against the Demon King Noldos' body, body, which later just overwhelmed the Sins and did two of the strongest Archangels ever, ever, ugh, effortlessly. Uh, at a certain point uh, after the fight uh, with the Demon King, Elaine tends to Bond, who told exactly what Elaine said to read her mind. This is an accurate mind reading, whatever. Uh, his ability Snatch uh, is basically uh, allows to rob physical objects, thus grabbing them, and also phys. Uh, physical abilities of others, weakening them while gaining more strength and speed. However, there is a limit to how much, how strong, how strength bond. Someone wrote this like crap. However, there is a limit to how much strength bond can rob from a person in order not to damage himself or overwhelm, with, uh, or be overwhelmed with the power. Using a form of snatch, he's able to steal body parts from an opponent, such as a heart or an arm, in the blink of an eye. Uh, weapons, he has a three-section staff and a Korakos, a member of the Secondary Sins. He possesses a sacred treasure which was stolen from during his imprisonment. It's a four-section staff, five years during the Disputation later. Okay. Um, point being, though, uh, magic strength, anyway, uh, is that, um, here's the thing. Most people, I think, would have put him on this list because he's immortal, because he can't be killed. But apparently he lost his immortality. So, I mean, do I use the version of him that has immortality? Or do I use the version of him that does not have immortality? I, I'll i say this. We'll, we'll do both versions real quick. Uh, Deadpool, we've had Deadpool on here multiple times before also. He's a merc with a mouth. He has regeneration. He technically cursed to be alive forever. Though, if, in theory, if you could incinerate him uh, or, you know, use magic or something like that, you could legitimately kill him. Expert martial artist, swords, weapons, all that teleportation belt. So, if you put the immortal Bond against Deadpool, who wins the fight? Well, Deadpool can't do anything to Bond, even with a Carbonadium Blade, uh, like would he, like he, how he killed Deathstroke in Death Battle. Would that be enough to kill him? Because his um, his immortality comes from the Fountain of Youth. I don't think it would, because here's the thing. He can snatch any physical thing from anyone. He could probably snatch Deadpool's weapons and use them against him. Uh, I'd say Deadpool's probably more of a master martial artist than Bond is, from the little I know of Bond. But at the same time, I mean, uh, Bond could just snatch those abilities from him as well. There, he could snatch just about anything from him. That's the thing, with that ability. He's limited, but to how much he can take at any time, but he could still take that stuff away from Deadpool. Um, so it is, it's, a, it's a tricky uh, fi factor. These two met uh, in a fight, the immortal versions of them. The fight would probably go on for a while. Deadpool would be, you know, bang, 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 bang and, you know, they just either be bouncing off or just, you know, boom, ow. He maybe even slices off an arm or something like that. He just pops it back on. And just, you know, 
continues to beat the crap out of Deadpool. I think Bond as an immortal is an individual that Deadpool really can't uh, do anything about. Uh, even with like a Carbonadian Blade, uh, the moment he, he, Bond gets hit with that, uh, he would realize that he's not regenerating from that. So he can't let that blade hit him again, and he would just not let the blade hit him again. If anything, he'd steal the blade. Um, and if you're dealing with the mortal Bond, his durability is enough that he, nothing Deadpool has would even hurt him at that point. Uh, Deadpool's just not an individual who has the ability, who has the weaponry or abilities to put down someone of that caliber or caliber of power and durability. Um, at least not without some heavy duty firepower, like heavy, heavy duty firepower, or like, you know, having someone else in his corner who like could instill an ability and I'm like, just immediate destruction. So I actually have to go bond. Deadpool's unpredictability would help out a lot in this fight. But again, it's just about who wins the overall fight. Deadpool is more or less just tenacious enough to, um, uh, he's tenacious enough to, keep the fight going on for a while, but ultimately it, I think it would be Bond in either version, uh, be it the immortal or mortal version of him, that would win the fight. But uh, I'll tell you what, let me know what you think. Do you think Deadpool could legitimately beat Bond in a fight, or do you think Bond just beats him every time? I'll say there's probably a way Deadpool could beat him. For instance, <clears throat> um, uh, for instance, if he, um, if, uh, if he hit him in the head with the Carbonadium Blade, that might be different. However, overall, I have to believe, I have to believe it's going to be Bond who wins the majority of those fights. And that's assuming he has a Carbonadium Blade on him. Anyway, uh, I digress, though. What do you think? Do you think it's Bond, or do you think it's, um... Or do you think it's Deadpool wins the fight? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let me know I'll get to it at some point. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.